Hey, hello everyone, and welcome to another random gameplay video. This is of an extremely quirky game, probably my most quirky game, so I had to make a video on it. I made videos on this ages ago, but they didn't have any commentary to them. This is Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix. An extremely rare game, or at least it is to my knowledge. It, it was apparently extremely hard to find a copy uh, after they sold out. They didn't make very many copies of it. And it plays just like any other DDR game. A lot easier than other DDR games, but still has some formidable challenges. You can see my translucent feet at the upper right corner there. As Mario boogies away, along with the Piranha Plants, Goombas, they're all having a good time. <laughs> it is... ridiculous. <laughs> Just my kind of game. And I did my best to sync my feet with the music. Just saying, I'm I'm rather accurate in this DDR because it's a rather easy DDR and the patterns aren't all that simple, but it's so dang fun. Crossovers. Yeah, and uh, strangely, the... Uh, um, jumps register as two different arrows rather than a single arrow, so you can actually hit a jump at different timing. It's kind of odd like that, and also the game is easier even in timing, in that it's uh, a little bit easier than other games to get uh, perfect timing on your steps. Finale! Not too shabby, huh? <laughs> yeah, this game is a blast. It's just ridiculous, including the story. Can I call you a dancing master? I had a pretty good run there. <laughs> Only two away from absolute perfection. Next song, I believe it is Garden Boogie. Yes, Garden Boogie. This is all a part of the game's storyline. I'm just like skipping through it. It's not spoiling any of the story, really. Well, kind of, because of the fact that it doesn't explain anything during this video. So I'm just playing random songs. Well, songs that I feel like playing. Oh yeah, working out with Mario. The only way to do it. gotta look out in this song that it's got some rather odd beats at times. Uh, it's one set of it is coming up right now, actually. Hear that? My feet are like hand claps. <laughs> it's, <laughs> they're pretty good indications of uh, how the timing of each individual arrow goes. Unless, you know, I mess up. <laughs> but I'm pretty accurate in this DDR, as I said before. It, it was my first DDR, so I played the heck out of it. Because I love playing it so much. Pull that carrot out of the ground, Koopa! Use the power of dance! <laughs> Yeah, you, you will not get this at all, aside from the actual DDR gameplay, because the story is so obscure. But it is a funny story. I should make a walkthrough on this game one of these days, but I have to post-commentate videos like this. There's results! Can I call you a dancing master? Another full combo at a relatively high accuracy. Next one! Because I've been playing a lot of Wario lately. <laughs> Prepare yourself for starring Wario. Oh, and if you, if you don't notice, I'm not using any cuts here on these first seven songs. Uh, just to basically show that, my, that I'm playing through the game rather 
I mean, with a relative amount of ease. Although I was playing it a little bit beforehand, just to warm up my legs. Otherwise, cramps aren't that good. <laughs> Oh yeah, Mario. Boogie down on that Ferris wheel. In the storyline, it's actually a versus uh, song, versus Wario. <laughs> so it's like a split screen dance, dance off between Wario and Mario. And yes, it is as ridiculous as it sounds. <laughs> Another thing about this game is that it has what they call gimmicks. I opted to turn them off for the for this video because I haven't played the game in a while and I don't, ha I don't have them memorized anymore. And uh, if I were to make a walkthrough on it, it would kind of spoil the gimmicks in the level. But the gimmicks also involve um, timing off of odd different things that you have to hit with your feet on the dance pad. And they make it a little bit more interesting, but doesn't actually change the step chart. I was a little sloppy at the end there, but eh, not bad. The results! Can I call you a dancing master? <laughs> Next song! PK Gam, don't stand on that left arrow. Dang it! What is wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why it was on the left arrow there, but I just was. And I cycled through the songs in the wrong direction. This is Cabin Fever! Mario's the superstar! Oh yeah! Getting into it now! The plates are bouncing! <laughs> The potaboos are hopping. Let's go. This one's got a rather simple step chart, but it's got a lot of odd beats at times, so it's hard to stay in sync and get a perfect score on it. Hear that? Yeah, that's the thing that you gotta look out for in this one, is... Stuff like that. Gallops like that. Oh, and as I always say in DDR, never, ever, ever touch the center while you're playing. Always alternate feet between arrow patterns. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> you're not gonna be able to beat any hard songs if you keep returning to the center after every step. It sounds like a good idea, but in reality, you can reach the other three arrows no matter where you, one of your feet are. And the game is designed as such. By the way, this is definitely a fire hazard. <laughs> I mean, my god, the logs are on fire and they're dancing across, you know, from the fireplace and they're dancing on the carpet. Well, I guess that's not carpet, but, but still, the whole place looks flammable. <laughs> Not too shabby of a run. Now hopefully those logs will go back in the fireplace. <laughs> Can I call you a dancing master? Heck yeah! <laughs> Next one... Um... I... Uh, forgot. <laughs> oh, Rendezvous on Ice. Another one with tricky rhythm, and it also gets rather fast in a midsection of it. There's only one way to get away from this avalanche with the power of dance. <laughs> that, that's pretty much a part of the game's story, is that you have to dance your way through obstacles. As I said, it's ridiculous. I like how that part of the chart flows there. It makes you do crossovers from both the back part of the pads in both directions right after the other, one right after the other. Here's the odd beats as well as the speedy up. 
Be careful of where the jumps are and don't be fooled. So now get ready for this part right here. Jumps from one corner to the pad for the other, but this right here. I I'm not sure if those are twelfths, twelfth notes or sixteenths, but they're fast. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just say that much. Uh, the rest of the song is pretty much a piece of cake, though. But I wanted to play this song because of that uh, really odd midsection that was a lot faster than the rest. I made a little mistake there, but eh, oh well. I'm not recording this for the absolute best world record run, otherwise I would only show the best runs I have. But otherwise, not too bad, since I'm playing all these in a row, eh? Uh, the next song that I'm going to be playing here Can is... You a dancing master? ...is by far my favorite song in the game. It's known as Always Smiling. And something very bad happened while I was playing it that really disappointed me. You will see. But listen to the beauty of this song. Although I'll be talking over it, if you want to hear the song itself, you just look it up on YouTube. <laughs> I kind of have to do that, it's my thing with the commentary. The step chart is really simple, but it's so much fun to play. Step jumps. Gotta look out for the step jumps. Did you did you see that? That I that one I missed there? I think that was a pad error. And it was one of the most disappointing pad errors I've ever had. Just wait until you see why. <clears throat> How is Mario piloting or sailing that boat aircraft? while he's dancing. He's not even grabbing the wheel, dang it! <laughs> I guess it's powered with the power of dance. He's apparently doing a very good job of it, too. Because he's dodging everything without any trouble. <laughs> Get ready! Did you notice anything about that run? And here's why I think it was a pad error. Results! Can I call you a dancing master? Ah. Yep. That was it. That was the only issue that I had through the whole song. And I'm pretty sure I was on sync and everything. Unless my foot just nicked the right arrow or something. Final song! This is also the final and hardest song in the game, known as Bowser's Castle! <laughs> sure enough, the final battle is Bowser! <laughs> but this right here is worth the price of the game. Break dancing Bowser! <laughs> this song is by far... The most technical and hardest song of the game. Easily a 9-footer in, in uh, old DDR scoring, you know, ratings for songs. There's a lot of technical movements in this, and it gave me a lot of trouble when I first started out playing DDR. I eventually passed it, though, and now I can pass it every time. Though this run... <laughs> Bowser. Though this run was a little sloppy, I should have practiced it ahead of time. But I've gotten an A rank on it before on both the gimmick and uh, non-gimmick modes. <laughs> this is so awesome! <laughs> it was so ridiculous, so, so awesome. But off of the butterfly turns. Those. You might want to start off on a crossover so that you don't have to double step like I'm doing. Prepare yourself for the ultimate finale!
And the game is beaten. <laughs> well, not really, but it was just playing random free play songs. You're a fantastic dancer. Not bad since this I haven't played it in a while. I definitely could get an A on it. Now, I got a bonus for you. A repeat of Always Smiling. I think you know what's coming here based on how disappointed I was on uh, the first run through. It took me a couple of takes to get this, but here you go. Jeez, Mario is really cranking that wheel. <laughs> Maybe that's how he's controlling it when we're looking on the outside of the ship. Look out for the bullet bills! You can't do anything as a player, but look out for the bullet bills. <laughs> Tell me out to Mario. Oh, and there's no marvelous timing in this DDR. You can only get up to perfect, but that's okay. It's still very fun. Here it comes! Perfect full combo. Yeah. Yeah! I was so pleased with that. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in can the next I call one. You a dancing master? Yes, you can! Wait! Wait! Don't leave me! I love you! I forgot something! Uh, I just wanted to show how my dance pad setup is because I never showed how that was before. Basically, it's just how it is in front of the TV, as you would expect, as you can see the light over there, the TV. But the thing that is different about my pad setup, so I don't make it slide or anything, is the tape on each of the front corners. See, my pad, when I play, tends to slide behind me. So I put the tape in front of the pad to make sure that the pad does not slide. Uh, that makes it easier to play, you'll score better, and it's also safer, of course. But um, also make sure that the cord here has enough slack so that you don't have to worry about, like, if the, the pad comes undone, you don't want your system to be pulled off the shelf as your pad slides away from you. <laughs> So, well, unless it slides forward or something like that for you, but in that case, you would put the tape behind you, then you wouldn't have to worry about the cord slack, or if it slides to the left, you put tape on the right, etc., etc. You get the idea. And that's basically how I recommend you set up a soft pad. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.